okay so we'll start by importing numpy and in addition we'll also import import matplotlib so we'll in, import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay so we are going to use the ally as plt for the module pipe inside matplotlib okay so that's that's what we'll be doing now let me quickly run this so how do you how, how are you going to plot so how are we going to plot simple line plots right so let's say y equal to x something as simple as that so for this what we have to do is we have to consider partition of the real line meaning certain number of points on the x-axis and the value of y corresponding to these points okay so first we look at how to partition the real line we have to divide the real line into a certain number of equally spaced points that's what we are going to do now so the way to do that in matplotlib is using or, or the way to do this in numpy right so matplotlib is for the plotting but for partitioning the real line or an interval on the real line we can just go ahead with numpy so this is np.lin space okay so this thing is called lin space so i'll just run it for let's say, let's say 0 comma 1 comma 11 and look at the output we look at the output and it tell you what it does so what is this doing it's dividing the interval 0 comma 1 into 11 equally spaced points okay so if you look at x dot shape you will notice that it's 11 so there are 11 points in in here so 0 and 1 the endpoints are included and what what is more all consecutive points are equally spaced so in this case the spacing is 0 0.1 but then you get the idea right so we could maybe try something else let's say x equal to np dot lin space of 0 comma 1 5 points right so what is x in this case 0 0.25 0 0.5 0 0.751 right so you have 5 points the interval 0 to 1 is divided into 5 equally spaced points okay so this is what i mean by a partition of the real line so corresponding to these points on the x-axis you need to have some y values if you have them you can connect them by a free curve freehand curve and then you can draw your graph right so that's how we do in our school that's what we would have done in our school days also right so if you had if someone had asked us to plot y equal to f of x what we would have done is we would have taken some points on the x-axis and corresponding points we would have marked on the y-axis and then we could have we would have drawn a, a freehand curve right connecting these points the closer the points on the x-axis are more finer the grid or or rather the partition we choose the better will be our approximation to the underlying curve y equal to f of x so that's the idea okay so we could have noticed that this is quite similar to a range so we could have also achieved this 0 comma 1 business uh, with a range okay with a step size of 0.1 okay so let's see what this gives us notice that this gives us the same array as the one you see here okay now step size of 0.1 with a range that would have given us this same array but then we had to compute the upper bound to be 1.1 because if you if you put 1 as the upper bound you will stop with 0.9 so you have to make it something bigger than 1 so you have to be wary of that and you also need to specify the step size as 0.1 whereas in lin space notice that lin space took care of computing the step size for you lin, lin space is comfortable because or convenient because all that you need to specify is start and end and the number of points into which you want to divide your interval okay so by default lin space if you don't specify anything right so if you don't specify the number of points into which you want to divide your interval if you just specify a start and end then what will lin space do it will give you 50 points right if you, if you look at x dot shape it's 50 so by default it divides your interval into 50 points 50 equally spaced points okay so how do you plot let's say y equal to x now it, you have to sample as given in the question here you have to sample 10 equally spaced points so let's, let's start with np dot lin space of 0 comma 1 and 10 so x will be like something like this and x dot shape should be 10 right the tuple containing 10 as, as we expect so that's what we expect now you have to plot y equal to x so the y corresponding to each value of x is nothing but y equal to x in this case and how do we plot we call the plotting utility plotting method plt dot plot okay x we pass the exact x coordinates and the corresponding y coordinates and there you go right you have your plot 
So this is the value returned by the plot method. Okay. If you want to suppress this, what you can do is you can add a semicolon after the plot. So that will remove the that value. Okay. That is return. All right. So that's a plot. So how does it work? How does matplotlib do this? So remember that you have you have given 10 points on the x-axis, 10 points on the y-axis. And what it does it is you can think of this as follows. So you first plot each of these 10 points on the x-y plane, and then you join consecutive points by a free by a straight line. Okay, that's what matplotlib does. Okay. So let's see this in using the following example. So you have to plot y equal to x. Okay. Right? Now to yeah, so so what is happening to get a better sense of what's happening, we can also do what is called a scatter plot. So let, let me first do a scatter plot and you it things will become clear. So what is happening here? There are 10 x values, corresponding y values. You have plotted x comma y, those 10 pairs of points, or rather those 10 points, right? Each point is represented by a pair x comma y. Okay, so this is a scatter plot. So what is matplotlib doing? It's joining consecutive points by a straight line. Okay, that's how it is getting this curve. So now let's plot both of both of them together so that you'll get an idea of what's really happening. PLT dot scatter, PLT dot plot. Okay, that's what is happening, right? That's exactly what matplotlib is doing. So remember that if you want to draw a line, all that you need is a pair of points, okay? And you could have also drawn the same plot by having zero and one as x and y equal to x and then plt dot plot x comma y would have given you that line right so let me add the scatter also suppress the output and there you go right so you could have drawn the same curve with just a pair of points right okay so that is curve one so let's look at a few more curves so here we have to add a title to the plot that's the extra work we have to do so first you sample 20 points equally separated. So np dot lint space 0, 1, 20. Okay, that's x. And y is 5 minus 3 times x. And plt dot plot x, y. This is what it's going to look like. Now you want to add a title. So what is the title going to be? y equal to 5 minus 3x. So the way you do it is plt dot title. Once again, you can suppress the output that you get there. So that's your, that's the way you add titles. So I'll be now going a bit quicker here. So now we want to plot y equal to x square. How are we going to do this? So x equal to np dot lint space. Now let's first consider five equally spaced points as given and y equal to x square. And try to see what happens when you plot x comma y, okay? So, uh, okay, so it's minus one to one. Let's do that, minus one to one. Notice what's happening to make things easier. Let me also add the scatter so that you can visualize the individual points. So as expected, what is Matt, what, what is Matplot doing? It's drawing, it's connecting consecutive points with, using a straight line. Okay. Therefore, you get this kind of a jagged curve. This is not really y equal to x square, right? It's not, it's, it's a, it's a horrible approximation of y equal to x square. How do you fix this? You can increase the number of points that you sample. As you sample more points, you'll see that you get a better and better approximation to the parabola. So if you have 50 points, which is the default, you get a quite a good approximation. You can now suppress the scatter. I've commented, commented that out and you have, I'm just plotting this y equal to x square. Okay. So notice that you're getting a clean parabola. So because of the, uh, our, the resolution of the eye is limited, right? So you can't actually visualize what's happening uh, underneath. You, you know what's happening, right? It's connecting consecutive points using a straight line. Okay, so let's title this uh, as y equal to x square. In fact, I'm going to enclo enclose this within dollar. You will see what is happening, right? So this is this is LaTeX. Okay, so this is slightly neater than the upper, the 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 one without LaTeX. Okay, so I, I've just added this. So what else is there? You have, you also want a 
x axis and y axis so we can do it in the following manner so plt dot ax h line uh, will give you a horizontal line okay but it's of the same color as the plot so i'm going to make the color black okay and i want to change the line style i don't want it to be a solid line so what i can do is i can make the line style dotted okay so notice that i now get a dotted line and i want to make the line which too dark so maybe i want the line width to be say something like 0.8 okay now it's a dotted line but it's not so sharp so it's a proper x axis line i also want a vertical line a x v line same color equal to black line style equal to dotted and line width equal to 0.8 okay let's do this suppress the output and there you go right so this is y equal to x square with the title and x and y axis which are nice dotted lines which are not as prominent as the actual plot okay actual curve all right so that's about it now let's uh, move on to so curve four i'm leaving it as an exercise anyway you have have it on the web page you can take a look at it there so i'll quickly explain the idea behind subplots okay so what are subplots sometimes you might want to plot many show many plots in the same window so there you make use of this thing called a subplot okay so let's go ahead plt dot subplot of 2 comma 2 comma 1 so i'm going to plot four of them in a 2 cross 2 grid okay and the first of them is what y equal to ln x so i uh, let me use the lin space given here 1 by e square comma e cube 1 by e square comma e cube all right and what is y np dot log x so plt dot plot x comma y let's see what happens okay so what do you get you get left top corner log x let's move on y equal to e power x in the and now that's that's going to be the second subplot so it's a two cross two window but then the second of the subplots so y goes from lin space is what it's going it's going from 0 to 3 so 0 comma 3 and y equal to np dot x of x right is e power x so plt dot plot now i can now plot x comma y here notice that it's coming up in a different plot okay to the right of the earlier plot now we can go to the third subplot 2 comma 2 3 so this means out of the four subplots plot the third one which is sin x so y equal to sin x so 0 to 2 pi is the range so np dot lin space of 0 comma 2 into np dot pi so pi is np dot pi okay and you have to plot y equal to sin x so you have np dot sinusoid sinusoidal function of x and you can plot x comma y and there you go so that's sin x for you finally what do we have we have 1 by x in the range 1 to 5 so that is the final subplot coming up so that is 2 comma 2 comma 4 x equal to np dot lin space the range is 0 comma 1 comma 5 and y is 1 over x and you can plot x comma y okay there you go right so you have four different plots now you can title each of them appropriately so this is plt dot title this is what this is log x right this is ln x so i can once again use a bit of latex notation here to make things cleaner so notice what happens uh, i'm sorry so this is okay so what do i do now i'm going to plot plt dot title so this is a uh, latex command y equal to ln x okay so let's see what does that does okay y equal to ln x i'll suppress this here okay so what is the next one it's e power x so this is plt dot title so it's a raw string y equal to e power x once again enclosing it within the latex dollar symbol so that's e power x 
what next you have sin x right so that is r dollar y equal to sin of x okay all right so here we have a problem so this there doesn't seem to be enough space so what i'll do is i'll go and increase the figure size so there is something called rc params so th this stores most of the configuration details regarding matplotlibs uh, plotting utility so like window size is one font size is another so we are going to be concerned with the figure size so it is, there is something called figure dot fix size okay i'm going to make this 8 8 comma 8 okay so now if i run this notice what happens this becomes larger okay the plotting window itself becomes larger okay there are other ways to fix this and you can probably look them up but i am using a larger figure size here finally there is one more title to do so that's plt dot title one by x right so that is y equal to uh, one over x okay suppress that there you have right you you you, you what you have what we have done is we have a subplot four cross so two cross two and each one is plotting something different of course you could draw the x-axis y-axis here and that could be done but yeah so that is a very quick introduction to some simple line plots in matplotlib thank you